but I haven't like had a boyfriend in like ten a decade, basically. Are you scared of commitment? Um, no. So why have you committed? No one's worth committing to. So you're scared. You have the highest standards, don't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? How old are you? Twenty eight. You got about two two more no. years of that. You no. got about two more years no. of that. No. <laughs> Guys can do that shit no. forever. No. You can- <laughs> no, I unsubscribe to that. Now. I'll show you exactly where that 28-year-old is going to be in a few years. I feel, I, I feel, yeah. I, is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. Over 50% of the female population is now overweight and obese. Men are visual creatures. There's nothing the media can do that's going to change them. But I've seen so many more women cheat. And being a woman myself, I get to be an insider to the things that women talk about. And yes, they will admit to one another that they cheat. But you will never hear an ounce of remorse they always victimize themselves. What they'll say is, instead of saying, you know what, I cheated, it was wrong, um, it was dishonest of me, it was betrayal, and I'll never do it again, what you will hear is, well, I cheated because I had to, he wasn't giving me what I needed and what I deserved as a woman. And all the other women will, you know, jump right in and, you know, be victims and victimize her saying, oh, you poor thing. Um, he should have treated you better. You take care of his kids and you do this, and you do that. And he should have appreciated you more and you wouldn't have had to go screw another man. But it's, it's really uh, quite scary how they do that. But they, they're never remorseful and they always shift the book. Understand men, hypergamy does not care about your feelings. Hypergamy does not see a bank account where you did all this great stuff for her and now you get to withdraw from that bank account anytime you want later down the line. It doesn't matter what you've done for her. If her hypergamous nature is looking elsewhere and sees a better option, she is gone. So currently I'm the most talked about person on TikTok because of this video. Why would you come over? I'm not happy. I'm going on a trip next week. What I'm about to show you is why I don't want to have children with her. I'm about to show you a video of her getting mad at me because I gave my mother Valentine's Day flowers. Not yeah. If you can talk like a normal freaking person. <laughs> and that's on having a lawsuit. All right, you're fine. You literally... I think her laugh alone clears my case. Please spread this because 28 million people saw that video. And I want them to see my side of the story. And see how crazy she is. You are not alone in this world in dealing with craziness like this. I don't know what single mother needs to hear this today. Go get full custody of your child. Go to the courthouse, get those full custody forms, fill it out. Because it is not fair to you that you are doing everything by yourself. Yet that man that's neglecting his responsibility to the full extent, mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially, is living his life as if he doesn't have a responsibility. As if that's not affecting you and your child or children. If you're both mother and father, if you're providing, if you're doubling your finances, go to the courthouse and fill out the- 90% of American inmates are men, 75% of which grew up without a father. 63% of youth suicides come from fatherless homes, which means you are five times more likely to kill yourself if you are growing up without a dad. 90% of all homeless runaway children are from fatherless homes. 85% of children who grow up with behavioral disorders come from fatherless homes. We are 20 times more likely to have a behavioral disorder if we grew up without a father figure. 80% of all rapists come from fatherless homes. We are 14 times more likely to rape somebody if we grew up without a dad. 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. We are nine times more likely to drop out of school if we don't have a father figure at home. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6, his preaching will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers. Otherwise, I will come and strike the land with a curse. It will not go well with us if we do not have good male role models and healthy father figures. You're single still, right? Yeah. How you like it? How it's you amazing. Like it? And as you get older, too, yeah. <laughs> it's even better. Yeah. <laughs> because now you're even more set in your ways. <laughs> and you're not putting that with any bullshit. You might have put up with it 10, 15, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. All right, uh, you know, yeah. not anymore. Like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm so good. You know, some chick, you know, you want to go kayak? Nah, good. <laughs> go, go yourself. <laughs> have fun.
If you drown, I'll fucking, I'll get in contact with your family. <laughs> 20 years ago, I'd be, yeah, let me fucking tie one to the roof and go fucking kayak. Yeah, I'm good now. My testosterone's on the 400. I'm not plugged up with your bullshit anymore. I'm good. Go paint the garage yourself. I'll give you pussy if you go paint the garage. Nah, I'm good. I didn't even know we had a garage. I've been on the couch for the last three years. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle uh, chimed in on the U.S. election and essentially encouraged people to vote for Joe Biden. What did you get your reaction to that? I'm not a fan of hers, and uh, I would say this, and she probably has heard that, but uh, I wish a lot of luck to Harry, because he's going to need it. Don't listen to people trying to tell you that you need to change, that you need to better yourself, because you don't. You, If someone likes you, they're going to like everything about you, and they're going to like how you don't communicate your feelings or how you don't have any skills to cope with stress in a healthy way or how you don't really plan ahead for your future so you don't have any savings or any emergency funds in case something happens they're gonna love that they should love that about you and they should support you for that so don't change